Hello and welcome to Biocode. Hope you are doing well. The agenda of our lecture is using the Swiss Talk server for routine ligand talking. For this lecture, I have selected the APL kinase as our receptor protein and the imatinib as our ligand, our ligand molecule, and we will be using that in this lecture. So let's get started with the lecture. It is an oh, Swiss Talk is an open access, uh, freely available software. Sorry, server. And the link to the Swiss talk will be provided in the transcription. Once you click on the link, here you see the home page. The home page of the Swiss talk server shows us some questions such as what, why, how, who, links, and uh, site. So, the what uh, tells us about the Swiss talk? What is the Swiss talk server used for? So actually the Swiss talk is a web service that predicts the molecular interactions between the target protein that is our receptor protein and the small molecule that is the ligand. In this case the small molecule will be a martinib and the target protein or the receptor protein will be ABL kinase. And why? Why tells us uh, what are what do the Swiss talk can do for you? So that is that uh, it proposed the binding mode for a ligand. It tells you where the ligand, uh, sorry, the ligand docks in the active site of the uh, receptor protein, and it also generates or performs subsequent calculations that you can uh, do in your uh, further studies. And it also provides you uh, good quality figures for your articles. And it helps you to design an inhibitor uh, for a target of your choice. Now the how tells us that uh, how the Swiss Doc server do the calculations. So the Swiss Doc is based on the EA Doc DSS uh, software, and the algorithm of EA Doc DSS is based on uh, four steps. The first step is that uh, local docking or vicinity docking, or you can say blind docking. The local docking uh, tells, and the local docking is about uh, when you provide the active site residues and the ligand and do is docked in the active site residues that you provide. And the blind docking means that you do not have to provide the active site, and it will find the cavities and will dock the uh, ligand molecule in those cavities. In the second step, simultaneously, a charm energies are estimated on a grid. It calculates the charm energies for the uh, ligand and the protein. And the binding modes, the different conformations of ligand binding into the active site, and the favorable energies are evaluated using facts algorithm. And then these uh, in a, uh, these favorable uh, clusters are then uh, clustered. And then the most favorable uh, clusters can be visualized online. For that, you need uh, to have updated Java, or it can be downloaded on your computer. Uh, then you can uh, use it uh, to visualize uh, using Pymol or Chimera or other software. And now the who tells us that uh, who has created this Swiss Talk server? So here you can see the Swiss Talk server is developed by the uh, Swiss Institute of Bioinformatics, Lausanne, in Switzerland. Okay, so the links tell us you can easily create a direct links to Swiss Talk submission form preloaded with routines and ligand structures defined as URLs. So here is the link to the uh, Swiss Talk server provided and site. If you have used this uh, Swiss Talk server for your analysis, then you should uh, cite these papers and your uh, manuscript. So the next is the target database. So here the target database shows us the 264 entries. Here you can see 264 en uh, entries that is al already performed using the Swiss Talk server. And these 264 are open access and provided to everyone and everyone can download that. If you want to search about the protein and the ligand that uh, you can think uh, that you want to know about whether it's present in the target database or not. So you have to click on, for example, I am searching for a glutenin.
so here you can see a glutenin is here and now if i want to download this a glutenin with this icon so i will click on view so here you can see the link is provided you can click on the complex to download the docking complex you can uh, click on the protein alone that will provide you only the protein molecule and this will provide only the lichen and then you can use it for your studies by default it will choose only 10 entries but you can change it to 25 50 or 100 so that was about the target database and if you do not found your uh, target protein and its ligand uh, complex in this database then you have to click on the submit docking to do the docking for yourself so here in this page you can see here you can see target selection or the receptor selection here you can enter either the pdv code the protein name the sequence and pasta format or the url uh, from the pdv or you can click on the upload file but the upload file should be maximum uh, 5 mb no more than that so in this case i will be uploading for my system so i will click on upload when you click on upload you are given uh, the format option that is accepted by the swiss doc server so here you can see the pdb format and the charm format are accepted or uh, you can use multiple pdbs or multiple charm files to upload here in the ligand section you have to provide ligand molecule either you give the uh, zinc accession id the name of the ligand or you can provide the scaffolds or the side chains or the urls of the uh, ligand molecule or you can simply click on the upload file but make sure the file is not more than 5 times in this case i will be providing the ligand molecule from my uh, system so i will click on the upload file okay and the next is to provide the job name for example in this case i will provide the apl mrt name the next is your uh, email address or it's optional if you do not want to provide so in this case i will provide my uh, id so before we upload the um, proteins and the lichen the receptor protein and the lichen protein we have to do the uh, energy minimization some quick preparation to prepare the protein and the ligand for docking so for that i will be using the molecular operating environment software i will open both the uh, receptor and the ligand uh, molecules in the molecular operating environment software to prepare it for molecular docking so click on open and in here browse to wherever you have saved both the molecules in here i will go to the swiss talk to green ligand here one iep dot pdb this is the uh, pdb id for the abl kinase click on open and click on biomolecule assembly in the symmetry and now here you can see the one iep molecule so click on the sequence editor and in here you can see one ligand uh, five negative uh, four negative charges and some water molecules are there so i will first remove these and now we have only a single chain abl kinase receptor molecule okay so first we will do the energy minimization and once it is completed we, we will go for the quick prep that will fix the proton action problem the bond angle bond lens etc and then our protein will be ready uh, for docking so once the energy minimization is complete then we will go for the quick prep click on ok and click on yes so it will take a moment and in here you can see what correction it is uh, making so it is correcting one termini at the moment this will take a moment and once it is completed our protein is ready for docking and now our protein is ready for docking so we will save this file make sure you save it in the pdb format i will replace the previous so i will click on open and replace the previous structure so here 
now I will close the receptor molecule and now we will open the ligand molecule for the same preparation so now here you can see the emarginate is in the PDB format so we will click on this click on biomolecule assembly and click on ok so here you can see this is the ligand protein so we will perform some quick energy minimization energy minimization is completed and now we will go for quick prep yes so here now you can see the energy minimization and the quick preparation both are complete so we will save it and we will replace the previous imaginary okay so before you save it make sure you save the ligand in the mold 2 format because this is the format that the swiss doc uh, server is uh, accepting so we will write the lig that represents the ligand so click on ok so now we will close this window so now here we will upload the prepared uh, abl kinase receptor molecule from here click on the ieb and ok it will take a moment to uh, do the careful inspection inspection of the receptor molecule that you have provided uh, this might take up to uh, five minutes as you can see here so we will wait for that and now you can see the successful setup that means that the setup is successful and the format and everything is fine now click on this and click on link make sure this is in the mode 2 format okay now again the same inspection for the ligand as well so now both are complete uh, both are successfully uploaded to the server now give it a proper name i will give it an apl mrtnip name and i will provide my email id and the extra parameters here you can see an extra parameter is uh, provided here you have to provide the coordinates for the active site residues the xyz represents the uh, coordinates the uh, the position the location of the active site and the xyz this represent the uh, box the size of the box it shows the size of the box in x dimension and y dimension and in z dimension so in our box that i have uh, previously calculated for this docking so that is uh, 66 on the x axis and uh, 74 on the y axis and then 98 on the z axis so this is the size of the uh, our uh, active side residues location and now we will give the location of the active side residues that is uh, 14. Point 5, 6 on the x axis, 3.2 on the y axis, and 1.28 on the z axis. 